uh, 18th of August 2016 uh, with the ongoing saga of my mouldy Jeep uh, or Jeep that's letting in water um, it was in the garage for pretty much two months back in March April this year 2016 um, in the end it uh, it had roof seals replaced door seals replaced and um, it had to have all the inner cab resprayed because of all the bad mold and it was all valeted and what have you did do a good job of it in the end um, it's now august and i'm just videoing something that uh, i was after something out of my car last night and i spotted last night so uh, just go through the car quickly so i think it's only done about four or five hundred miles since it was uh, last in with the, the garage Seems, seems to the up all right down from the drive as well. <coughs> Behind the drive as well. It seems seems okay. Feel much there. And then to the back. Roof seal still okay. No, no damp. It's, it's okay there. To the passenger. That's. That feels okay. This is the one I noticed last night. So in the back, I have my uh, roof covers, which I've never actually used, but I keep them in the back just in case I ever need to take my roof off. Um, and when I took them, took the cover out last night, I noticed that, which is the start of another growth of mould. So I looked under, this is, this is my mat, my mat seems to be okay, but then underneath the, the next mat down, so can you can actually see that, it is actually wet there, you can see that on my hands, so it's back. Um, I've never had the report as promised by the garage for the last time they had it. The engine still makes a squeaking noise, squealing noise when it changes gear. And when I got it back last time, I had on the side uh, document panel thing, I had that sort of pull. So, not happy again. <laughs> 